to do while you're in the middle of action, trying to work out how to handle him. There's that double right hand, that was accurate. You know, Pep's ground in confidence, there's another right hand. And Ford certainly does look a little dispirited. He's, the punches certainly don't have the sting and the snap they had in the opening couple of rounds. And by contrast, Pep just looking stronger and stronger as each round passes. Yeah, that's a class act. And when you've rubbed shoulders with the likes of Tony Lopez, there's that right hand, Jesus. You took that one well. It was bang on. It's another good round for Pat. As you, he's got to try and do a little bit of fainting and break the kid up, break him out of his pattern that he's developed. He's settled, he's settled into it now, and you, has got to break him out, dummy him, and go side to side and just do things differently from how he's doing them. As Jimmy says, another good round for Pep. In addition to scoring heavily himself, He's making Ford miss. And I've got the Canadian now firmly ahead in this fight. Yeah, he's took control. He's, he's holding the reins and he's dictating how things are, are going to go. He's boxing a smart, intelligent fight. And Yui's struggling really to, to stay in there with him at the moment. He's, he looks like as if he's running out of ideas mentally as early as the fifth round in a 10-round contest. You know, hopefully Freddie can pump him up, transform him, give him something to, to do to change the, the flow. Because the way it's going now, he's, he's really is on, on a loser. Well, once again, the right hand of Tony Pep. Catching Huey Ford on the side of the head. But that Ten didn't. Seconds. And you start wondering just how many more of those solid right hand shots Huey Ford can take. Second hand, two too many. Five rounds to go. It doesn't look a one punch hitter, Tony Pep. Doesn't look an explosive Hitman Earns type puncher, but they're you know, all punches are and it's not for you his game really to, to sort of gatecrash the party and, and push his fella back with an aggressive onslaught and break him up with some rough ass tactics, which could be the ploy that Tony Lopez may have used. Well Huey Ford adopting, I'm sure, the right kind of tactics coming forward. He's, he's gotta take the initiative away from Pep somehow. Pep's obviously very deceiving, he looks fragile build-wise, but he's obviously a lot stronger than what he looks, he looks all deceiving. Ford revival, greeted by cheers from his supporters. This is a better round. Yeah. It's better work from you. Positive, good body shots, moving away from the right hand. It's the right tactic. Yes, I think body shots could be the key. Let's hope you can keep it together. That's more like it. That's better. That's better. again as Ford caught but coming back with a good body shot it's been a real determined and gritty round from you he's come back and took it took the play away from Pep really good round but it's still the heavier shots that are coming from Pep Good shot. 
This has been used best round of the contest so far. Done all the right things. He's moved away from the dangerous looking right hand. And nipped in and out with the clusters. It's a dangerous right hand from Pep. Come whisking across there. Good round for Ford. He came back with great courage. Excellent. Well, it's still very delicately balanced, this contest. Four rounds to go. Well, really, there's nothing in it, Dave, at the moment. It's probably Pep's got his nose just in front. But the initiative that he looked to have taken earlier was sort of dragged back there by you. He went out there and really, as you see there, got through some good, clean, solid shots. Let's hope he can keep on rolling now. His stamina's good. Ten seconds. And hopefully his confidence is installed firmly back in its right place. Round seven. So let's see if you adopt the same tactics again, circling away from the right hand, pecking away and then nipping it out in clusters of shots. That seems the right game plan. You can't, can't afford to switch off for a second, this kid. He just seems to go walkabouts there for a split second and got nailed with a little cluster. Can't do it with a kid of this class. Interesting to see how Jim Pridding scores this if it uh, comes right down to the wire. The quality shots, I'd suggest, coming from Pat. The, the work rate, probably Huey Ford shading that. Useful round for Ford. This still a little swelling underneath his right eye and bleeding from the nose. Pep unmarked. Still being quite accurate, Ryan. From Pep's viewpoint, I want to see him step the pace up a little bit. Tends to wait for the openings to present themselves instead of working to create them. It's like you push home the last minute of this round and hopefully get this round in the bag as well. So he needs to, this is a close fight. He's going to go to a decision, it's going to be close. Another close round, we're going to take another break, three rounds to go, join us for them in just a moment. <laughs> 